I've never been this pumped. I'm not kidding. My heart is going like you wouldn't believe. News will spread fast. Now everyone's going to know what went down on the Oceana. Pulling a drop like that is all kinds of illegal, but it's my duty to shake things up. Clearance is coming. Got to be ready. We've been zigzagging down the ship, making sure we're not being followed. And now we're walking beside the cabins on residential deck seven. Beyond the three-bar rail, there's a view of the sea, churning and grey. I'm trying to play it cool. My smile's a dead giveaway, but I can't help it. It keeps breaking through. May's beaming too. Her eyes are all glistening. I want to grab her hand and run. See you later for debrief. She jogs away, then hops back and grabs my arm. We did it. I turn in the opposite direction. Time for us to split up. We'll take different routes home to our cabins and... Crap. Coley's. Twin uniforms striding along the narrow deck. Far enough away that they haven't clocked us yet but there's no way past. On one side, there's a row of cabins, a pattern of porthole door, porthole door, that's repeated on every residential deck on the ship. On the other side, the rail hems us in. Those coleys aren't going to let us pass if we act nice, and walking back the way we've come won't do any good either. By now, Hadley would have put out an all-ship alert. They'll be rounding up everything that moves. At this point, even just walking away will have them after us faster than a drone chasing a pickpocket. May spins back to face me. Her grin's gone, and the colour is washed from her face. She lays her hands on the top rail, one foot resting on the bottom. I take up position next to her, pretending we're only here for a chat.